Hey, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Wednesday, December 21st, 2022. The Tarot card for today is the Three of Cups, and this one comes to us from the Cosmo Beings Tarot by artist Joanna Nelson. And looking at this card reminds me, besides being an incredible artist, Joanna Nelson is incredible person who does so many different things and she owns a vineyard which i'm looking at the grapes here on the card out in napa valley california she also has an olive grove and on my list of things to get from her very soon is a bottle of her extra virgin olive oil so if you want to know someone unique and talented give her a follow you won't be disappointed that you did now what about our card because I got to tell you, first of all, if you noticed yesterday, we had an Ace of Swords. If you look at my video that comes out on Sunday, which shows you the cards for the week, we have some phenomenal cards all week long. Every single freaking one. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, I it is. All right, let's just say this. We've got cards of celebration and separation and there's a whole lot going on here and today's a big day yesterday was a big day today is a big day again and here we are with this card of celebration and what do we have to celebrate we actually have a whole lot to talk about here today the moon will be moving into sagittarius in the wee hours of the morning so it's kind of back to party mode here all right after having had a couple of intense days in Scorpio, but there's a whole lot going on. Now, that Sagittarius moon is going to trine Jupiter. This is a very social aspect, and it fits right in with our very social card, the Three of Cups, getting together with friends, having good times, and celebrating. I, it just, it really does have a good feel for most of the part of the day. I do believe the biggest news of the day is the sun's entrance into Capricorn, kind of grounding out some of that Sagittarian influence that might kick off your day. Okay, and this is at the time of the winter-summer solstice, and I have always have to go look these up because I don't know the pagan holidays, but it is uh, Yule which is also a celebration and i also don't want to miss saying happy hanukkah to all of my jewish friends out there you remember me saying yesterday jupiter moved into aries not to return to pisces for another 12 years so we have some big energy influences going on this week and right now jupiter is at that zero degree mark as is the sun having just moved into capricorn and they're forming a tense aspect today. Does that mean there will be tension? I think that depends upon your behavior, all right? You see our card. Our card has a very social atmosphere, people getting together, having a good time, celebrating. But what happens when someone in the mix starts, you know, just feeling... It's There's a, all this feel-good energy. But what happens when it creates grandiose behavior and their ego just becomes so inflated you can't even stand to be in the same room with them right and there comes your tension right there and i do believe we all know someone now given the fact that we're kind of in party mode here so to speak it might be a good idea when you plan ahead for these things all right because what tends to happen with the you know the influence of jupiter and you know, certain types, certain signs of people, they tend to want to just, the, the, the to-do list is just too big. All right, so carve out an agenda for yourself before you begin your day. Sometimes people ask me, why is this out ahead of time? Well, why would you not want to know ahead of time? What good is it to listen after the fact? And then you, you know, find your day just doesn't go as planned so if you want to enjoy the day and the social atmosphere that exists don't overload it with things that you need to accomplish and you know people have a tendency to you know postpone everything till the last minute running around doing holiday shopping whatever the case may be sometimes you have to realize 
that it isn't realistic to fit it all in and to do what creates a positive, safe, you know, enjoyable atmosphere and, you know, go with that instead. Zero degree mark is definitely ushering in some form of new beginnings. And I feel as long as you can keep your ego in check today, you'll be right where you need to be when you need to be there. So I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.